My mom is a lot. Like, my mom talks to everyone throughout her day. She just likes to stop people and have what she thinks are these kind of jazzy moments <laughs> with people. I'm like, they're not having that moment with you. She has no ability to see how she's being, like, received by anyone. She's just like, you're welcome. That was fun. Who's next? What a rocking time we had together. <laughs> and, um... She is like the most aggressively white woman you could ever imagine. She has one of those overly spiked soccer mom haircuts. Like her hair just keeps getting more and more like angular and furious. She looks like a lot like Vanilla Ice at this point. Her hair looks like it was cut by a computer. And uh, we're having an issue with her lately because my mom, like she really wants to be black. It's been an issue we're having as a family. Her favorite thing to say now is people always tell me, they go, Karen, you should have been born black. And it's true. <laughs> you know what, it's true. I dance like I'm black. I'm a very soulful dancer. <laughs> Her dancing is the most confusing thing I've ever seen. I don't even understand what's happening when she's dancing. She sort of dances like she's stirring herself. <laughs> it's just this kind of problematic frontal stirring. And there are a lot of sideways accusatory glances. It's f***ed up. I think the problem is she works with these black women and one of them told her she has soul. I think they were probably just bored one day and there, somebody was like, let's tell white Karen she has soul. <laughs> Somebody's probably like, wait, that bitch that wears all that Navajo shit? <laughs> They're probably like, yeah, let's just tell her for fun. <laughs> I think my mom, like her dream would be like, she wants to be one of those white women in the movies that saves a black school. She wants to put on a sassy leather jacket and go teach hip hop violin in the ghetto. That's all she wants. My mom wants a special relationship with a kid named Trey. That's, that's her dream in life. She wants a controversial relationship with a kid named Trey. And she wants Trey to get up and like try to leave and be like, yo, this shit, man. I can't do this shit no more, man. My mom would be like, go ahead and run, Trey. Just go ahead and run. Run from everything that's ever scared you, Trey. You get your violin and you get back here right now. You don't know shit about what I've been through. And she'd be like, don't tell me what I've been through, Trey. I've seen things too. You wanna know the truth about me, Trey? I have pistol whipped over 500 men in my life, Trey. I pistol whipped Wheezy and that was a slow day for me, Trey. I started the Illuminati and I'll end it when I feel like it, all right, Trey? So please, get off my and uh, get your violin and get back here. <laughs>